morning, Warriors, and welcome to this week's episode of Warrior News. I'm Isabella Davis. And I'm Jasmine Hauser. And today we will be talking about Harbor Softball, Mr. Fitz, and Mr. Pittman. Our first story today is about Harbor Softball and all the hard work they put in to be successful. Here's Billy to tell us more. This is Harbor Softball team, and they've been practicing really hard for their upcoming season. We do a lot of drills. We also run a lot, but we work as a team. It's been pretty fun. I haven't been going very many because I had basketball games, but what I've heard, it's been fun. All the girls on the softball team have also been really friendly to each other and have been having a lot of fun at the same time. I think confidence comes from um, a lot of preparation and we're working really hard. We've been out in the 40 degree weather, working hard um, outside to get better um, at our fundamentals and then we're going to succeed because of that. Um, we've been out there pretty much every day. Um, I know they started back in um, August. And I've been out there with them since the semester has begun every single day. And we've been out there working hard, um, putting in a lot of effort, and having good attitudes. So I think we're going to be a lot better than we were last year. I was Harvard Softball for Warrior News. I'm Billy Bo. We have several Central students playing up at Harvard, and Coach Bailey is the assistant softball coach. We are very proud of our Warriors working hard. Another one of our greatest teachers is Mr. Fitzgerald, who students call Mr. Fitz. Here's Marissa to tell us more. One of our new teachers at Central is Mr. Fitz. He teaches 8th grade English and debate. We are so excited to have him on our, our Warrior staff. Mr. Fitz has worked for Springdale Schools for 14 years, but this is his first year at Central. What I like most about Mr. Fitz is he's really, really fun, but he also wants us to work really hard and he pushes us. And um, he's just really fun to be around and he cares about us and wants to be more than just our teacher. What do I plan to do for my classes? Well, it depends on the class. For my English classes, I want them to achieve the highest ability that they are capable of and I'm going to push them to do well on standardized tests like the ACT Aspire and any interims that we have. Um, for my drama classes, I just want them to have fun and learn as they go. And for my debate classes, I want them to compete and, uh, and win at the highest level that they can. What are you looking for? Mr. Fitz has worked at, as a choir teacher and a music teacher at the junior high and elementary levels. What do you like about I look forward to the, I look forward to kids growing. I look forward to kids clicking and getting it. There's always that aha moment when they don't know what they're doing and then they're like, oh, I can do this. And then they, they thrive. And I love that about my kids. Everyone is so happy to have Mr. Fitz this year at Central. For Central Warrior News, I'm Marissa Lilly. Even though this is his first year of teaching here, he has already become a student favorite. We have so many amazing teachers at Central. Next up today is about Central Social Studies teacher, Mr. Pittman. Everyone here loves him and all that he does for us. Here is Jeffrey to tell us more. There are many AP teachers across our nation, but none are as dedicated as Mr. Pittman. It wouldn't take much to see the raw effort he puts into his job on a daily basis. With the optional study sessions on the weekends and every morning before school, Mr. Pittman uses his own time to better educate his students. Thomas Pittman, he's passionate, he's an institution, he loves kids, he believes in what he teaches. Not only does Mr. Pittman go above and beyond to help prepare his students for the AP exam, he connects with his students like no other. He's just like a really great teacher and plus he's very interactive with us in class and I really hope that with his teaching and everything that I can uh, soon hopefully get a college credit for a college class. Mr. Pittman's successful teaching is evident in his scores on the AP exam. His pass rates were 6% above the national average last year. We work hard, we have the want-to attitude and CGH is just a great place to be. From his high pass rates to his likable personality, Mr. Pittman is easily one of the best AP teachers in the nation. From Warrior News, I'm Jeffrey Zach. Mr. Pittman has been here for 36 years. He is easily one of our greatest teachers. That's it for today. Thank you for watching Warrior News. Warrior News.